What is up YouTube? I'm back with my first episode of my DIY electric bike. Now you may be familiar with my DIY Tesla Powerwall series and this series will be set out very similar to uh, how my Tesla Powerwall update videos are set out. So basically I will be showing you guys uh, everything about my bike and all the specs about it like what kind of battery it has, what motor it has, um, the throttle controls and all that kind of stuff in the motor controller and just all that stuff that is used to uh, get this thing going so um, without any further ado let's just get into the video so if we give you guys a closer look I've fabricated my own battery housing and that houses a 48 volt 10 amp hour lithium ion battery pack you can see that the battery is in here I have a plate which goes over this that I stick on to our keep all the insides all protected is this battery uh, holder is made out of chipboard which is not really the best material but it has to do I'm on a budget so that will just have to do for now we come around here we have a 36 volt 250 watt uh, brushless DC motor inside of this it has a planetary gearing reduction set um, so that means it's not direct drive like some of the other hub motors are. I'm planning on overvolting that to 48 volts so it probably will start getting a little hot. I'll just have to watch out for that if I'm going flat out for a long time. And yeah so that's a pretty much the basic overview of the bike and uh, overall it's just a pretty decent bike and uh, it's basically just going to be repurposed as my new daily driver for just riding around with the uh, motor assisting me so um, this will be charged with my uh, Tesla Powerwall which would be really nice so this thing won't really cost me anything to run which is uh, I guess good for the environment this has a key set that acts as a security boundary I guess and basically just connects to the 48 volt battery and turns on the motor controller and when I flick it on You will see it's at 51.1 volts so uh, yeah it's um, really nice it's a good throttle um, it also came with uh, the other side as well so that um, will match as well and I can just take the key out and the display won't shine so that's a really nice security measure that I have implemented in this bike soon I'll be getting some parts in from eBay which I'm going to show you now so here I am at my computer and these are basically the parts that I'm ordering to get my electric bike going. I'm ordering a 48 volt, uh, roughly 2.5 amp charger. Um, that's traditionally for lead acid batteries, but I'm going to try and get that working for my 13S setup on my lithium batteries. Uh, I've just got a few voltage displays for if I want to add some 12 volt system in the future. I've got a boost buck converter. Um, that is just some spare MOSFETs in case I blow my controller up. I've also got a phone mount so that will go into the middle of my handlebars which would be really nice for like GPS location and all that. And then also a 48 volt 500 watt motor controller which is for a brushless electric motor. Um, the reason why it's 500 watt not 250 or the equivalent to the 36 volt 250 watt controller is because I blew my controller up it just couldn't handle the amps and I just wanted a bit more of a safe margin so then it could withstand more amps but yeah that's what I've got an order I've also got a new disc brake it's a 180 millimeter disc brake so that should fit better and then obviously I've already got the throttle in and all that kind of stuff so uh, once everything comes in I'll release you guys another update video on the bike hope you enjoyed this first update on my electric bike definitely stay tuned for future updates where I will be installing the motor controller, um, seeing how much power it has and acceleration and all that kind of stuff and uh, overall just testing it, using it and charging it with my power wall so uh, that is pretty much it, please give this video a like and uh, I'll see you guys next time.